Welcome back to Young Blooms Flower School, lovely to have you with me. Another episode for you to enjoy and I wanted to look today at how to create a seasonal display. Autumn is very much here, the weather outside in the UK is quite disgusting and I guess Halloween is sort of done and dusted in some senses, the shops will now be full of Christmas festivity and I think it's November can be quite a strange month because you're kind of in between but you're not because you know Christmas is fast approaching. I wanted to look at how to create a seasonal display because I think as a florist, as if you're a shop owner, um, if you're an event florist, it's quite a useful thing to think about. So I'm just going to go through, you can see behind me I've got it all set up, I'm just going to go through some simple steps to think about um, how to cr create a display with lots of impact, um, what your display's purpose is for, um, and generally give some tips and ideas uh, on how to create something that is impactful and beautiful and that you can enjoy designing. So, here we go. To start this display off, I used, and I will come around and, and show, I used this board here. It's resting on two plinths. Um, it's got um, poles that uh, sit and help it stand upright, so it's just a board, a wooden board. And that's all I started with, so I started with that structure resting on two plinths. I started filling up the board with uh, what I would call just sort of knickknacks, um, just filled it and didn't kind of think about actually it's quite thin the board um, so by the time you've put as you can see you know uh, you've got the violas on there already and a couple of candlesticks it gets quite full quite quickly and took some photos and thought to myself it's not particularly interesting it's not particularly kind of it's not got that um you know that wow factor so i then started thinking actually i need to add more to it to make it more interesting to give it more sort of 3d uh, a 3d effect and so I then found some um, wine boxes in my workshop. It's amazing the amount of knickknacks that you gather. So we have these wine boxes, old wine boxes, and I put one in the front. And then that gave me an extra ledge here, which is quite helpful. And I could add more interest for the, uh, for the, the design. So a um, collection of candlesticks empty little vases and dried flower heads and these are all bits that I've just gathered over time and I think when you're depending what the purpose is of your display I think if we started with just with home this would be a lovely thing to do on a small scale I wouldn't be able to fit something like this in my house because we live in a two-bed cottage um, but if you're I have a box a sort of old French antique box with um, shelves in it I am gradually filling it up with mementos that I want to keep um, and want to enjoy looking at so that's my place where I keep sort of special treasures so I guess you know if you wanted to have your seasonal display at home you would just scale it down and start thinking about what you wanted to include so that's a kind of home aspect it would be and probably I would put some more photos in here of my family and, and people that I love and care for you know so that I can enjoy looking at, at those photos as well bringing warmth in I think for this time of year candles are perfect for that um, I have got a little pumpkin in there um, which is hollowed out and I spray painted gold and put in a little succulent so you can see it see it here it's quite nice and um, that'll just keep going there's some pine cones and dried helichrysum heads which are quite pretty um, just for a bit of pop, uh, just for a pop of colour. I've just, these are two empty little urn pots that I've got. Um, and I just uh, put a bit of moss on top. That's rather lovely. So quite an eclectic mix. A um, bit of uh, buried eucalyptus in there. So I, I've kind of added in that, um, in that wine box. So the last thing to think about is that if you have a shop, um, what, so I had a flower shop for five years where, that, where I was based. Um, creating a display that was enticing for people to come in and have a look at was one of the key things. So putting flowers out every day uh, in the front of the shop and just outside welcoming people in uh, was really important. I think there's nothing more depressing than <laughs> going into a shop and finding stuff and just thinking how on earth are they thinking I'm going to buy this stuff. Um, you want to make it as encouraging, so as beautiful as possible, you know, that really um, helps sell the stuff that you've got. 
So you could easily do something like this for a shop, easily. I think this would be really lovely. What would be the purpose to this? Would it be a display like this? Would it just be to entice people in? Or would you want to sell stuff from it? I think either or either would work. It would be no problem in selling plants, um, selling vases, selling candles, any of this, you know, selling wreaths, the little succulents, dried flowers, all of this you could sell. Um, and it would, I think, work a treat. Um, I'll add the pussy willow in. I've got the dried pussy willow as the final thing, which I moved out of the picture. There you go. Um, and I've just got those in a milk churn. You can see there. Um, dried bundles. So you could sell those in bundles as well. That's no, no problem at all. So I'm just going to give you a final close up and so you can see exactly what's going on so these little violas um you could easily pot up you know buy in from a wholesaler and pot up into these nice vintage pots this is um a herb plant little candle holder a spritzer i um, got a nice glugle jug with some dried helichrysum in there and a heather plant just for a bit of color these empty candlesticks like i mentioned more succulents so it's a real mishmash of, of stuff which i think is quite fun so there we go. So I hope you found this helpful, just a really short uh, look at creating displays. Nothing complicated, and I think it doesn't need to be complicated, just something, it's collecting all those favorite bits that you have. Um, and whether it's for an event, wedding, um, or just for your home or for your shop, it's just thinking about what's special, thinking about what you want to sell, thinking about what you want to say in the, in the display. Um, and, and enjoying the process I think. I find with creating these displays I did the, the first half of this with just that board and then realised it looked a bit boring and I needed to add a bit more interest. It's okay to think no that's not quite right when you first attempt these things and then have another go. Keep, keep trying until you feel yes I've got it. But it's a lovely lovely thing to, to do and I think a nice interim thing to do in this odd time between uh, autumn and winter, Christmas and Halloween. Um, it's a space to fill. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this and look forward to seeing you next time.